Steel is a key element for modern infrastructure. Steel long products are extensively used in the construction industry. The steel re-rolling mill sector is a major supplier to these products. The reheating furnace operation consumes maximum energy and also has a major share in the operating cost. The efficient operation of furnaces can be characterized by correct temperature regime, perfect air fuel ratio, proper combustion and optimum furnace pressure. Most reheating furnaces in the SRRM sector are manually operated and devoid of even basic monitoring equipment. A substantial impact can be drawn in the operating margin by adopting state-of-the-art automation and control system in the reheating furnace. A level 3 PLC based automation and control system consists of monitoring devices like thermocouples to monitor furnace temperature, zirconium based online analyzer for gauging oxygen percentage in the flue gas and pressure transducers to monitor furnace pressure. The system also consists of a PLC panel to receive feedback from the sensors and control the furnace parameters by controlling the variable frequency drives in FD and ID fan, solenoid valves in air and fuel line, DC motor driven screw feeder and motorized valve in the damper. The closed loop system consisting of the sensors, control circuitry and control drivers allows maintaining the zonal temperature of the furnace at optimum level maintaining the excess air level to the optimum level and maintaining the furnace pressure at optimum level. The use of automation and control system in a reheating furnace leads to proper combustion by maintaining correct air fuel ratio, maintaining proper furnace pressure and draft, reduction in specific fuel consumption by 10 to 15 percent, reduction in burning loss by at least half a percent, to understand the cost-benefit analysis, let us consider a reheating furnace of 10 TPH operating for 12 hours per day and 330 days a year. The installation of the system can lead to saving of 10% in specific fuel consumption implying an energy saving of 130 to 140 tons of oil equivalent of energy, monetary savings of rupees 18 to 20 lakhs and greenhouse gas emission reduction of 580 to 600 tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually. Installation of level 3 automation and control system requires an investment of rupees 20 to 25 lakhs, which can be recovered within 1.5 years time. In order to get the optimum results from the automation and control system in the furnace, regular maintenance of the equipment should be done. The instruments should be properly calibrated. In case of abnormal operation of the furnace, the automation can be bypassed. There is a very less residue as compared to the traditional systems. So obviously there is less pollution. The fuel that you are using, you are using it optimally. So you are getting a better value of that fuel. Uh, the furnace downtime is down to zero. We are just opening a furnace once a year. A proposed to where it was opened three to four times a year earlier on. The furnace material lasts longer. Automation and control system leads to a smoother operation of the furnace by avoiding manual intervention and with real-time monitoring and controlling of the performance parameters. If implemented in 200 units, the technology can lead to a saving of close to 30,000 tons of oil equivalent of energy and 1 lakh tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually. We learned that there is a significant potential exist for energy saving in MSMEs. Bureau of Energy Efficiency has developed multimedia videos on energy efficient technologies and best practices. We at B appeal to all MSMEs to participate and implement these technologies and saves energy for yourself as well as for the nation.